Hey everybody, it's Dino with One Tom Plumber. I'm back with another helpful video for your plumbing needs. Um, I got a really, really super easy one. It's probably the easiest thing I could ever tell you, but it's basically how to insulate or winterize your outdoor hose bib, also known as an outdoor faucet or a spigot, some people call it. But um, it's November here in Cincinnati. It's actually a beautiful day but I know the cold is coming and we wanna make sure this thing doesn't freeze into the house and everything splits and causes water damage everywhere. So I'm gonna show you how to do that in just a second. All right, I'm back. I'm down in my 1890s basement, this old spooky place you've seen many times before on our videos. Uh, I hate coming down here to be quite honest with you, but we have to because the most important thing you're going to do when you're winterizing or insulating that outdoor spigot is turning off the water to it in the first place. There's a shut off that's made specifically for that outdoor faucet. You're going to want to find it and it's going to be located behind a wall. Let me show you. As you know, I was, or you might know, uh, here's a storm door and if you noticed I was sitting actually on top of the storm door and my spigot was just to my right right now off to this side of the wall so that means if you look over here you want to look for any pipes in this area water pipes and this is a shutoff valve so this is the valve that's sending water over to that spigot so all I want to do is turn it clockwise to close it. Make sure it's nice and tight, but don't overdo it. Just make it secure. And that's all you do with this step. All right, so now what we want to do is go back outside to the hose bib and you want to turn it on because whatever water has been left in that pipe between the shutoff that I turned off and this hose bib here, I want that all to come out. I don't want that to stay in there and freeze while the temperatures go down because that'll split the pipe. So we just let it drain looks like it's already drained there's not much in there since I already had it off in the first place so that's why nothing's coming out so that's good we know it's dry now we want to close it off and this is the point where we're gonna to want to insulate it with a couple products that are really easy to find and really cheap alright so I have a product comes in two different varieties for you it's basically called a faucet cover um, this is the same product by a company called Polar, uh, Polar Cap, actually. I should know that because it's one of the most popular brands out there for this kind of faucet cover. But it's just a styrofoam with a little foam at the bottom so that when you put it over here, it doesn't ruin your wall. And this one is the styrofoam with a hard shell cover, makes it a little bit more durable. And I'm going to show you how to use these. These will work up to about two degrees under freezing um, but you have two things going for you you have the water's been removed from the pipe which allows it to go even further in temperature down under freezing without causing any problems plus you have this thing so let's put this on there's basically three different uh, instructions here it's you take this little loop which is inside and you're going to wrap that around the faucet handle so very very easily although it does feel a little awkward in your hand to do this it's very easy so you got it locked on second thing is push this up against here and pull the cord while you're holding that on tight and then you're going to pull the cord and close the little uh, it's like a little bolt it's a little, just a little plastic piece but that's all you do and that's on there and what that has done is trapped warm air around the faucet so that it stays warmer in colder temperatures and that's all we're really doing here all right now if you really want to go the ultimate limit the best you can do you want a frost proof faucet or a frost-free faucet, or a freeze-proof faucet, whatever you call it. Um, there are different names people call it, but I call it a frost-proof faucet. You wanna buy one of these little gadgets. Now, this is about 40 bucks or more. 
um, but it's a really nice piece of equipment that's going to ensure that your pipes aren't going to freeze and bust and cause all that water damage. This is a virtual guarantee. So what you want to do is you can see there's a long stem. The difference between the spigot over there and this is you notice this long stem and it goes all the way inside the wall where it's warmer inside and um, it also has an anti-siphon device which if uh, when you are in warm temperatures and using your hose there's going to be no backsplash into the pipe so dirty water is getting mixed up with clean water etc but there's a lot of reasons for uh, using this this is the best preventative method to freezing and burst pipes hopefully the faucet cover method or the frost proof faucet method is something that you'll be doing soon uh, to winterize and insulate your outdoor faucets this coming winter. All right, thanks for watching everybody. Uh, my name is Dino with One Tom Plumber. I really appreciate the like, comment, or share. I'll be doing more of these winterization type videos as we're getting into the colder months. Until then, stay warm.